Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Some opinion from Samaran Chakrabarti of City. He's talking about the current account deficit as well as the rupee. Let's listen. Components of trade deficit, which are, are imports rather, which are increasing, is quite wide based. Uh, it's in consumer goods sector like electronics. It's also in capital goods sectors like uh, machinery and transport equipment, etc. So everywhere almost we are seeing a significant uptick in uh, import demand. Run rate of about 17, 17 and a half billion dollars of uh, monthly trade deficit from here. Then we will probably reach about 88 billion dollars of uh, current account deficit for the full year, despite service exports being much better than what we had anticipated and we had upped the numbers on that front as well. So 88 billion will be roughly about 3.2 percent of GDP. We have penciled in another 25 to 50 basis point rate hike in the latter part of the year uh, to mainly accommodate the view that is coming from the MPC that they're very keen to get to that 4 percent mark. We are baking in 25 to 50 basis point of more rate hikes at this juncture. Not so much because of the currency defense but more because of inflation. The trade deficit shock has uh, spooked the investors a bit uh, on, on, on INR. Uh, so we will have to see the next couple of prints on this. There is also the expectation that uh, as uh, oil prices have cooled off a bit, that should start showing up in the trade deficit numbers. Uh, if that happens, then possibly uh, it's all good. Uh, the other thing that people are observing is the fiscal deficit trends in India. So if uh, we don't see any significant slippage over the next few months, then the worry on both trade and fiscal front will be lower and that can uh, cool off the pressure on the currency. But otherwise, we see the trading range now settling around 69 to 72.